Welcome, dear audience. May you be a literature fan, a writer yourself, or just an interested bike passer. To start with, let me introduce myself, since this is my first video on YouTube. My name is Chaba Hegedish, I am of Hungarian origin, age 22. Next to studying at the university, I tried to create literary artworks, what has become more than a hobby of mine. I tried out many genres, types of both poetry and prose, however their analysis was not demonstrated until now. But here's the perfect opportunity to illustrate and comment on the first poem, which is a short and interesting piece of literature. So I have chosen this image poem titled as the flag of morality or the flag of mortality. I will read it now stanza by stanza in the correct order. All seven days stood we, few amongst the vile, guarding our precious flag, you gave us the sire. Though the weather changes, tricksters draw dodgers, merit of endurance and thunder guide our blessed selves. Though it's common to sin, we'd rather die with shame than to set free common, daring to promote bane. When disorder rises, dukes and nobles uncontrolled, steps in with full power, limitless moral. He did grain, a gnome steps, revenge comes real, impervious house, ossifying validly all guilt. Its candle rod burns bright like a light tower, ignites the ignoble till fueled is its power. Honor, virtue, sacrifice, loyalty, stability, humanity, liberty, equality, fraternity, virginity, innocence, justice. Life is a conflict period, world is a conflict line. Did you act morally in life? Did you push the great flag upside? What did you? Desire? Hellfire? Virgins, revenges, cucurs, as well as nobles and poor all come to me. Ha ha ha! Face I must destroy and thee! Dance macabre, ah memento mori! The wax of life shall seal me. As an image poem, I propose talking about its peculiar form first. The title mentions a flag that can be clearly recognized. That flag is the upper form, while on the bottom a more or less skull-like figure was placed. The pole on which the two stanzas, or more materially, the textile is set, that pole may lose any moment its balance. This complex imagery is the first layer of the poem. By moving further we have to look at the stanzas as small separate enclosed units with their simplest meanings. The left side of the flag is about some sacred people or beings who see as their main duty to protect the values of a society even in the wildest times. This service was given by a higher authority that is not clearly expressed. Here an extract from the Revenger's tragedy emphasizes how hard it is to be exemplary and at the same time evade being common. In the right part of the flag the guardian's power or the power of society's moral is shown. Like a candle's cleansing fire while life is melting away, order establishes always its overpower in the original it tend to be chaotic world. Chaos may stand here for as a synonym for sins, and the guardians continuously on every day of the week try to push back the seven sins, thus pushing the flag of morality upside. The third part of the flag is the pole itself, which is made of positive values collected from the history of mankind, attributes of people which altogether make out the so-called morality, an ideal phenomenon in humans that would ensure the perfect working of a conscious society. Still, at the bottom lies the very last stanza, a skull which swallows every existence without caring about the earthly attributes of a man. It is in contrast with the unimportant great struggle of the living. Death is moreover a mystery, a grotesque apparition that laughs on the typical panicking emotions of overly self-reflexive human beings. In a way of traditional theatrical representation, the underworld lies under the stage's trapdoor, but here hell likes circumstances, struggle of good and evil, can be found upside as the counterpart of morality, while unknown death is the only one down. By mentioning hell, which is related to religious beliefs, demons are among the guardians in the poem's third layer. The guardians keep them shackled, and from another perspective, some writers do the same by engaging them into texts or literature, I dare say into high culture.
The second stanza hides a sword, an emblem of justice, which helps and represents the guardians as well. The devil words pentagram and the sword's high moral core are again a contrast. Moreover, if we deprive the word devil from the letter D, we get an anagram evil that can be transformed into the word live. So does the Pole's upper end tell us life is equal with problems or evil, since here the two are very closely related synonyms. Well, these were the three layers, form, contrasted meaning and hidden symbols. I don't want to go into rhetoric figures and other allusions, but feel free to ask about them if you're interested. You can find the whole poem and the text of this video on my homepage. See you next time and thank you for watching.